What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I'm going to show you guys some new features in the software and compare it a little bit to CS6. Now I know a lot of people don't like to pay per month for software. You know, there's been some mixed feedback about this software, but I want to give you my impressions of it because I think they're really good features that they added to the software and I think Adobe did a good job. So let's get started, I'm going to select create new project. Over here I'm going to type in the name for my project. The one thing I did notice that was different between this and CS6 and previous versions of Premiere Pro, you're not going to create the sequence here. So I'm going to select OK and just save over what I had before. Now I'm going to go to File New and I'm going to select Sequence. I record with the DSLR camera, so I have Digital SLR selected and I picked 720p and this is at 60 frames per second. Select OK. Now I'm going to take the video and bring it onto the timeline. By default, these layers are just a little bit on the smaller side, so I'm going to increase the size and it's just easier when you're editing. Now the first thing that you notice right away is that when you separate a clip, I'm going to press C on my keyboard, cut the clip, press V to select and right click. This is in addition to Premiere Pro CC where you can edit the clips just by right clicking and you can select one of these options for the menu and this is a fast way to start editing your video. Come over here to effects and I like this addition to Premiere Pro CC. Basically what it does, it allows you to change the look of your video really easily and I'm going to come over here to style and select back in the day. And you'll see it looks like a video from back in the day. <laughs> it looks like an old school video and I think they did a great job on that. We have another one here called Dreams. This is another Dreams one, Control Z. This is from the 70s. I thought that was a great feature because that kind of gives you that look that people use on Instagram for their pictures and I thought that was pretty cool for video. Over here we have the 60s. And then you have other options here. These are all new things in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. The one most important thing that I noticed with this program, the change from CS6 to CC, is the preview over here. Right now it's selected at 1 fourth. If you have issues with the program lagging, a trick is just to select 1 fourth and you'll have lesser quality within the program but you'll still render at a high quality. Wherever the quality of the video is, it will render at that. But I did notice with CC, the Mercury playback engine, it really works great when you're previewing your video and it's really smooth. There's no lag, the video doesn't skip. It's really great and I have to say that that is worth upgrading to CC because a lot of people are trying to you know, edit their videos and it takes time to do. This will save you time. So if you are questioning whether you should upgrade from CS6 to CC, I'm telling you the playback engine, it's worth it. Also rendering is a little bit faster too. I think that has to do with the software itself. Overall, I'm going to say it is worth the upgrade. I know people have a problem with, you know, Adobe charging per month for software, but I have to say it's worth it. And if you have the shot to actually use the software, go ahead and use it. Even if you just want to download it to try it out, go ahead and do it. You can do it for free on the Adobe website. I will put a link in the description for that. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.